Alright, so part five, this is the waste, and looking at this, I really don't see why I didn't just throw this in with the last part. Anyway, moving on, or getting started. This goes here. Oh, if you guys can hear my loud ass not lawnmower, aka my computer, yeah, sorry about that. I'm editing at the same time. Okay, and uh, that piece is usually covered by another gray piece, but I usually don't do that. Alright, this looks bad. <laughs> this looks like it's one of those polycaps that will get jammed if I don't do it right. Alright. Okay, there you go. And these two pieces are probably the hardest pieces you are have to put on. You gotta make sure that the the, the pegs are aligned with the holes. Cause there's three of them, so you want to make. See, it's hard. So yeah, you want to make sure the the pegs align with the holes. And there's three. Just make sure all of them align up. Stop texting me, damn it. There you go. So yeah. That was uh, pretty hard. So you peg this in. Where's the freaking... Okay. Peg these in. Stop it! Just making sure everything is secure. And he has a tail. Something else. That looks very wrong. Alright, so, um, yep, I got all the pieces on. Carbon blade, which, by the way, this little inner part right here needs to be painted the same purple that's on the chest. Um, but yeah, let's assemble this thing. So you want to take the waste? Actually, let's take all the pieces. Make sure I haven't lost anything here. Open palm for the right hand. I don't, I don't know why for the right hand. Anyway, let's get these on. Waist, where'd you go? Okay. Pop the legs on. Um, Alright, let me do this first. Let's pop on these binders onto these shoulders. Alright, so you basically treat these things like the binders of the o riser, alright? Easy enough. And then... Peg these suckers in. Jesus Christ.
Um, and I guess for the most part, aside from the weapons... Sorry, I'm just adjusting some things right now. Bushido's ahead, and its predecessor, sort of predecessor, the Tier and Teltsi, or just the Tieran unit. And I actually thought the, I actually thought the Tieran was going to be just as tall as the, as the ahead, but it doesn't look like it. The ahead is still taller, um, by a head. And that wasn't intended to be a joke. It was literally by a head height taller than the Tyrant. But um, you know, overall, I got, I'm actually impressed. I like I like this. I really like this. I'm totally like wondering why I didn't decide to get a Tyrant earlier. This is pretty awesome. And I'm saying that because I actually, Jesus Christ, stop it. Um, I actually like pretty much went through articulation. Um, aside from, you know, building and stuff, it's pretty interesting, to tell you the truth. I like the color scheme. It's very tightened. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, but yeah, I, I really, I really like it. I really like it. Uh, it's, it looks a lot cooler in my, in my eyes compared to the ground type, although the ground type is, would probably be like the weathering dream. Or like a diorama's perfect for diorama. This one looks really nice, I gotta say. Definitely a lot nicer than the pink one. I, I like the, the contrast here too, the red and the purple. It's kind of cool. Um, oh my god, what do you want? So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go investigate what the hell this person wants with me. And um, yeah, I hope you guys, you know enjoyed this build series. I don't know what there was really to enjoy about it, but you know, look forward to the review and that should be coming up sometime shortly. Alright, I'm just BSing now, so I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>